Hello there, and welcome back to day six of IMTS 2016. I'm your host, Emily Barda, and this is IMTS Talk, where we'll change your perspective. And what an amazing week it has been, where many perspectives have been changed and adjusted throughout the show floor. And I'm sitting next to Doug Woods, who is the president of the Association for Manufacturing Technology. Doug, it's the last day. How did we get here so quickly? It's amazing. It's ama <laughs> On one hand, I'm really excited that everyone's had this great week, but at the same time, it's a little bit depressing to actually have to leave it all after getting here and seeing all this really cool, super neat, innovative technology. It's kind of sad I can't have a few more days to actually look around the halls. Right. I mean, it truly is a bittersweet day because it has been such an amazing event, but it's coming to a close in a few hours. What were your impressions of the show this year? It was fantastic. I mean, obviously seeing all the people, that's always great to see the numbers that come out, but walking around and seeing kind of the new innovations, where people are actually going. So last show, automation was a really big deal. We saw more and more booths with really innovative, late cutting edge technology for automating the manufacturing technology equipment. Now we're starting to see that kind of just be almost seamlessly integrated. It's almost like every booth you go in has automation that's been added to it, which is fantastic. But the bigger thing I think this year that you now start to see is a pervasive element of the new technology is what's happening with data and information. Really unique applications, everyone trying to figure out how you harness the power of digital manufacturing in the equipment they have. Now how does what you're seeing here on the show floor correlate to what is going on in the industry? Well, there's actually a great correlation, and in fact, it's a little bit of a leading indicator. So when you walk around the show and see the things that are here, clearly these are the technologies that people are going to be looking for and implementing as they move their building, their technologies forward. So whether it's the automation, whether it's the digital integration, whether it's the robotics, the things that you're seeing here are what people are coming today to look at, to implement into their factories kind of next month, next quarter, and next year. So this is how we're seeing technology actually move the industry forward overall. So clearly the folks that are coming here are looking for what is that latest, greatest thing that I can use is going to change how I'm competing with people around the world. If I use these things, will this put me in a position to be a global leader? Well now, if you want to see the latest and greatest things, you absolutely have to be here at IMTS 2016. And there is such a positive vibe in the air. How is this going to relate to the industry forecast for the future? Is it equally as positive? It definitely is. I mean, one of the things this year, we, we had a lot of great years after the recession. And so the industry has been growing, growing, growing. And so we got fairly high getting back to 2007, 2008 high, high water marks. So it started leveling off a little bit. And so with the oil and gas, you know, things started slowing up a little bit. As we looked at the fourth quarter, you know, we offered maybe 10% or 12% from last year, which isn't too bad because we were so high overall as an industry. But what's really telling is overall here at IMTS, we have more exhibitors. We had 6.5% six, six more exhibitors than we've had. We've got more space being used, showing off new technology. And most importantly, we're breaking numbers, records, for how many people we actually have coming to look at the technology. So if you equate that to those folks are coming here to look for the technology to put into their plants, and you say, okay, they're up, you know, five or 10% overall from the previous year, you can see that while the industry might have been slowing a little bit coming into the end of the year, we predicted that next year would be a great year. And if you look at the flows of people coming in here with the technology they would be buying and implementing, it definitely looks like those forecasts are going to come true. Well, what kind of trends and technologies are we seeing on the show floor that might be new for 2017? Yeah, not so much maybe necessarily new, but I think now getting to be the edgy technologies, getting a little bit more standardized as production elements. So additive isn't really new, but we featured it again in the ETC because there's new ways of applying additive technology, and it's also becoming more production ready. So there's phenomenal you know, new focus on getting into metallized components, figuring out how to use it in medical applications, electronics applications. And there's new ways of doing additive. So you'll see if you come to the ETC, multiple different vendors showing new ways of doing additive technology. And it's now getting to be more and more available to small and medium sized manufacturers, as well as the very large manufacturers, of course, have paid a lot of attention to it. Well, and it's not just an experiment anymore. It's, an, it's actually being able to be implemented and used on a daily basis. Exactly right. I mean, people are getting to the point that they're buying hundreds of machines, additive machines, to do production-ready quality parts. 
that are being used. So it's really gone from one of those, hey, this might be interesting, let's maybe try one out in the R&D lab, to let's put these into full production for application of components that are mission critical in how they're being used. So that's a real differentiating factor that you can see at the ETC. And even when you talk about the ETC and talk about the technology of additive, you see what the Oak Ridge people have done with the big area, you know, additive manufacturing systems and integrating energy and solar into additive. So you can see kind of all these technologies integrating together, which I think creates some of the excitement we're seeing when we get more younger people looking at manufacturing going, that's kind of cool, that's kind of neat. And I think it's great that additive is kind of that lead in technology that's grabbing people's imagination. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. It, there are so many younger people here walking around the show floor. If you are here at McCormick Place, you will see an age range from 11 years old up to 86 years old. Um, and we need that next generation of manufacturing professionals to you know, move the industry forward. How is IMTS bringing that next generation in? Well, you know, we've really tried, this is the 10th year in a row that we've done the Smart Force Student Summit. You know, the way of bringing students in and seeing what new technology we have available. And we've got probably 15, 16,000 students that are coming in to see the technology. And they get to try the technology so they can go downstairs and actually use the actual equipment that's upstairs, the cutting edge technology, and they can apply it themselves. They can get on CAD systems, they can do simulations, they can actually get into machining, they can make parts, they can make rocket components and actually test them in a little test cell downstairs. And it's super cool, and I'll, and I'll tell you a neat little story. I was walking around a group of people from China, a delegation from China, and we walked past a bunch of kids that were maybe eight, nine, ten years old. Oh, even smi younger than 11. Absolutely. Smiles on their faces, oh. and they're walking around, and I heard the Chinese guys talking to themselves, and I asked my interpreter what were they were talking right. about, and they wanted to know why we had such young children here. Were they here for the you know, Education Student yeah. Summit? When they found out that they were here for that, they then started talking to themselves again in Chinese. Again, I asked my interpreter what they're talking about, and they said, we need to change our policies in China. The Americans are starting to train the manufacturers of the future oh. even sooner. We need to bring our age down to compete with them. So it's nice to see oh. people going, yes, those kids kids are the future, that is what you need to do to get them involved, and if there's exciting technology, the kids will grab right onto it, and that's what they're doing. Well, and that's what exactly what everybody is doing here at IMTS 2016. They are getting excited about the technology, the trends, and everything else that they are seeing here on the show floor. And we heard it from Doug Woods, who is the president of AMT, the Association for Manufacturing Technology.